Well, hello there, and welcome to another classic shave. How are you? Uh, today I've already prepped my face once again with the Van Ule pre-shave oil. And my razor is going to be this three-piece, mostly Bakelite, Clicks razor uh, with a metal cap. Vintage Clicks razor, C-L-I-X is how it's spelled. And uh, in there I have a Persona Lab Blue blade, one of those right there. My brush is going to be this. It is the Frank Shaving Polar Shaving Synthetic Brush. And as you can see, I've already lathered it. My soap, and I put the label on this, uh, on the Scout Master mug, just so I know what it is. It's this uh, Toivo, uh, well, it's a pine tar shaving soap. And there's a Scout Master mug that I have it in, the white one with the black uh, printing. They also make a black one with white printing. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and lather my face here and get started. Hope you're all doing well out there. Hope your week is uh, going good so far. And I'm still doing the Monday night going into Tuesday morning shave. By the time this uh, video is posted, it will be uh, Tuesday just about everywhere, I think. So... If it's morning where you are, good morning, and uh, whatever time of day it is, I hope it's good for you. This is pretty nice, and I like the scent of this soap. About a medium scent, about a three out of five on scent strength. And uh, I think the scent seems to kind of build as you lather it, sort of painting it on here. It smells good and it feels good. So we'll go ahead and get started here momentarily. I'll go ahead and set that aside. Um, I'll wet my razor. And uh, wipe off the hand a little bit here. And we'll get started for the first pass, uh, which will be with the grain. Second use on this Persona blade, by the way. <clears throat> oh, that's just the first few uh, swipes on this are nice. Feels good. And I do like that pine tar scent of that soap. Very nice. I've heard some bad things about pine tar, and I think this is real pine tar. So I've heard that it's bad for you, causes cancer and all that. So I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, I'm not going to use this soap as much as I like it every day anyway. So I think, I'm pretty sure I'll be okay. I don't think my face will fall off in the sink uh, anytime soon, at least not during this shave. Yeah, very nice. Do a bit of a Gillette slide there. I'm going to go ahead and rinse the razor. <sighs> Fairly mild razor here, mild to medium aggression. Although, as I've said in another video, I have one of these that has a very wide gap, wide blade gap, and is quite uh, surprisingly uh, aggressive. And that's one that came with its own uh, box, with the original Bakelite box and so forth. Very pleasant evening here, by the way. I was outside walking the dog that I'm uh, that I'm dog sitting and uh, letting it do its business. 
And uh, yeah, real nice outside. They just cut the grass, so there's that nice scent of uh, new, newly mown grass. Vetiver, I guess you could call it, I don't know. All right, rinse time. Oh, this is a very pleasant shade. I'll show you that sticker again. Uh, the soap I got, uh, the puck I got, just came wrapped up in some paper and had that sticker on it. So I went ahead and uh, slapped it onto the Scout Master cup there uh, for as long as I've got the soap in there. You can kind of see it's sort of a brown soap, as you would imagine pine tar soap to be there. So I'll go ahead and continue here. So nice, so nice. Well, uh, what's everyone doing uh, this week? Um, are any of you on summer uh, vacation, summer break? Um, I might go somewhere in a week or two if I can. Uh, it won't be a big, uh, fancy, expensive vacation. It might be just to visit a friend or two in another community, but uh, not far. We'll see what happens. I hope uh, hope only good things for all of us. I've had some challenging, uh, interesting times, as per the old Chinese curse. May you live in interesting times. And uh, this uh, shave is kind of bucking the trend as far as niceness and happiness uh, for me lately. Well, uh, I'm going to pause here. I'm going to take a very quick break and like a snap I hope I will be back freshly lathered for that second pass across the grain. Okay I'm back and uh, kind of had to stop everything for a minute there uh, and turn off my uh, notifications because uh, that was starting to interfere but anyway uh, back pass number two across the grain and here we go. If you like pine tar soaps, I really think you would like this one. Very uh, robust scent, very nice. And uh, only second time using this, and as is often the case, I'm having a better experience with, with this product than I did the first time. But I think in the first time, something else was going on, and I got in too big of a hurry, and oh, I might as well... As blasphemous, as blasphemous as it sounds, I might as well, uh, for that shave, have just gotten out a can of goo if I had one, which I don't, and a disposable razor or something. I don't have one of those either. I have a couple of cartridge razors, but I was in kind of a big hurry, and well, you know how that can go. Almost always comfortable shaving with this razor, too. Only about a day's worth of growth here. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Uh, let's see, I'll do this. It seems to have cooled off a little bit. We had another more of a minor heat wave just a couple of days uh, where it got up to 90 Fahrenheit and it was it's been pretty muggy Okay, to the neck now. Oh. 
It really should be going more across. I was not meaning to go across, but actually, to be honest with you, when I go across on my neck, I get more irritation. But with this razor, it should be easier, but I was kind of skipping ahead, kind of going against the grain on the neck, which for some gentlemen is uh, across the grain on their neck, I guess. Well, anyway, and that may be the case for me, I have tried kind of mentally mapping my uh, facial hair, but it seems to kind of grow all different directions in some cases. I'll be back, and we'll do that third pass against the grain. Well, I guess I'm still going here. I hope, uh, I thought I shut the camera off for a minute, but it says I'm still going, so pass number three uh, against the grain. I'll start on the neck here, this time. I thought I shut the camera off, but that's okay. I'll just edit out the... It means I hope that the, I hope that the camera was running, which I think it was for the, the uh, second pass. Technical difficulties lately. And then again, I'm enjoying the shave so much that, uh, well, it kind of sends me into a pleasant kind of la-la land. I guess it's that kind of zen or whatever you want to call it that, uh, yeah, that you're supposed to get, I guess, when you're uh, doing one of these kind of shaves. Okay, wipe off the hand again. Go to the face. I'm still getting some feedback here, audio feedback. A little bit of dissipation, I don't know if it's hurting anything. Still seem to have plenty of protection here, but uh, yeah. Let's see, I'll set that down there. Okay, sorry. I'll just relathering a little bit the face. And I keep getting, my hand keeps getting all wet here and uh, yeah. Let's see, where was I? Oh yeah. You can do a lot of buffing with this razor because it's uh, it is relatively mild. One person told me that when I basically shave the same spots again over and over that it's not buffing, but everybody else tells me it's buffing, so I'll go with the majority opinion, I guess. And of course, even with a mild, relatively mild razor like this, you can, it is still possible to overdo it. Okay, turn the razor around here. I guess I'm kind of a baby face because uh, continuing to shave every day as I do, I could make this my everyday razor, this particular Clix razor. It's rather pleasant to use. Okay, well, um, uh, snap out and pop back in real quick. I'll weather up and then we'll do pickups. Well, to quote the great one, three, two, one. It's pickup time, baby. Yeah, there you go. All right. Pickup time, everybody. Yeah.
or touch-ups or whatever you want to call it. We call it pickup time. Again, to quote the great one, whose name I am not worthy of pronouncing or of uttering, the one who has, uh, you know, inspired so many of us. A certain Welshman, Welshman whose uh, lovely wife provides flower arrangements in his bathroom and who has a couple of cats and likes to go on long walks and likes spicy food, that guy. Can't say his name, but, uh, you know, I mean, because I'll have to bow and grovel and, you know, that's never, uh, that, that's very unbecoming, I suppose. <clears throat> Not that he insists upon it, but it's just that he's worthy of, uh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Finish up, finish up. Try to finish up here. Uh. Trying to get these trouble spots here. I got some trouble spots under my ears and kind of along the bottom of the, well, the, along the jawline, I guess you could say. I'll rinse the razor here. I uh, think the soap's pretty slick. So let's see. Go over here. Get this trouble spot over here. You may still be able to hear some of the audio feedback, at least on that one spot there. Just so hard for me to get sometimes. And yesterday I used my old, uh, it's a Gillette three ring razor. It's called, and for me anyway, it's fairly aggressive. And I wish I would have used this soap yesterday because, uh, I think it would have made the shave better, especially for whatever pickups I did. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like I said, these trouble spots. And then this one will go like all down the side of, or the down my jawline and everything. I don't want to overdo too much. I already have some irritation, and I think it's from that razor yesterday that I used. And I can't remember what soap I used yesterday. It was a, it was a decent, good soap, but uh, I think this soap would have been better for me to use with that, with that, that razor that's more aggressive for me. I think we're just about going to call this done. Good slickness on that soap. Uh, wow, that's nice. Hey, uh, I will rinse my face, the razor, the brush, and uh, I will come back uh, and we'll say hello to our good friend, Mr. Tao. Here he is, no stranger to the red carpet. It's our good friend, Mr. Tao. Whew. Hmm. Ah. Ah, once again, very nice, very nice shave. Oh, just heard a little audio feedback there. I'm not going to worry about that. Close enough for me. As far as pleasantness of the shave, I'd say five out of five. And then if I try to go too far, uh, trying to get a BBS, baby bottom smooth on my neck, then I do get irritation, uh, irritation even with uh, a relatively mild razor like that. And uh, yeah, so we'll put Mr. Tal back where he goes here in a second. If I can, yeah, I'm kind of OCD about Mr. Tal. His tag has to be, where is his tag? Uh, yeah, his tag has to be on the bottom, his tag. He's got a pedigree, you know. All the best towels do. He's got papers and never mind. Anyway, I'm going to start doing <clears throat> uh, some recaps and then 
that will segue into me putting the finishing touches on the shave here and I'll let you all go. Um, I began off camera. I already prepped my face uh, before I started with Village Barber uh, pre-shave oil. That's very nice stuff. Um, and then my razor has been this three-piece Clix razor, vintage, um, not made anymore, but uh, Bakelite handle and base plate, metal cap. In there on its second use was a Persona uh, Lab Blue Blade. Okay, and let's see here. My brush has been this. It is the uh, Frank Shaving Polar Shaving handmade brush, the synthetic one. One of the synthetic ones, very nice, with a longer handle. And my soap, <clears throat> which I, my soap I have had in this Scout Master uh, plastic mug here. And I went, uh, since the puck came just in a paper wrapper with a sticker, I went ahead and put the sticker on there. It's the uh, Toivo, um, the, uh, well, pine tar shaving soap in there. Very Mm. Oh, oh. I, I like it. Okay, I just like the scent of pine tar, and, and that's a good one. Okay, uh, I think I've covered everything up to this point. If not, forgive me. Um, I'm going to reach into magic cabinet number one here and get the uh, T.N. Dickinson's Witch Hazel, which is uh, pretty widely available here in the United States. And it's a good... This is an astringent with 14% alcohol, so there may be some sting, but here we go. It smells like witch hazel, so if you like that scent, fine. If you don't, you might not like this, because it uh, it's an unscented. I can feel a little bit of sting, a little bit of the alcohol in it doing its astringent job. Now, let's see, where was I? I kind of got lost there for a second. Oh, and uh, <clears throat> my aftershave, something really nice here. I do, this came from a kit I have, which came with the razor blades, uh, the matching soap, and, and a brush, but the uh, Chiseled Face Midnight Stag, which uh, has a very uh, kind of a dark, manly scent that I think will go well with the pine tar uh, soap, because I don't have a pine tar aftershave. Is there such a thing? Oh, this is going to be nice. Oh, maybe a little sting, but this is going to be... Ooh, oh, I'm going to put a little on the wrists. A little behind the ears and the temples. Maybe a little on the back of the neck. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling the burn, but... Oh, man. Oh, that scent. Ooh. And it does... I think it... I think it's, uh, it complements the pine tar soap, and I think it's the, the combination of, of those scents may just get better and better. So anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, put the cap back on this aftershave, and uh, I'll show you once again. Use the T.N. Dickinson's Witch Hazel, followed by the Chiseled Face Midnight Stag aftershave, and... Finally, I'm going to finish the shave with some Nivea Men Original Replenishing Post Shave Balm. The original Nivea Post Shave Balm. There it is again. Okay. This is good stuff. Uh, no parabens, if you're worried about parabens. And uh, very quickly absorbs. And I might have got a little bit more than I needed there, but that's okay. A little bit will go a long way. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. A light, pleasant scent on this, too. I think all of these scents are going to go very well together. And I know I kind of overdid that. I poured too much in my hands. I'm going to be kind of shiny for a minute. But uh, like I said, the good thing about this balm is it does absorb... Uh, pretty quickly, within a minute or two. And that's the Nivea original post shave ball. Okay, that's it, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being a part of this. 
Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll try to be back next week again. Thank you, and peace.